Good afternoon, everybody. It is me, the fabulous Leo Brown. And I know it's been a long, long time. I haven't done one in a long, long time. But I'm here to do a Tarot Card Tuesday video. Tarot Card Tuesday, honey. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to all of you. And the last time we left off, I think we were on the Ten of Wands. Or Ten of Staffs, I'm sorry. Ten of Staffs and the Ace of Arrows. So today, we're going to do the Two and Three of arrows okay so let's start with the two of arrows okay so this card is well I'll just say I I call it the peace card don't let me throw the peace card on you if y'all know if that's a beauty shop reference if you know that shout out to beauty shop anyway so this card is a card of peace this card is a card of peace it's a card of truth it's a card of an, of an impasse of a situation so if you get this card in the upright position as I'm holding it uh, it basically means that there's a temporary truce or an impasse in the situation. Uh, you, there's understanding of a difficult situation. So, say you have a love relationship issue or just a relationship issue. And you're wondering why, okay, why did that friendship or why did this certain relationship, why did it go wrong? You know, where, why did we split? But as time goes on. You start to understand, okay, I, I understand why, even though the situation was difficult, I understand why we ended the way we ended, what happened, and I understand my part of the situation, like where I fit in. So that's what this means if you get this card in the upright position. Now, if you get it in reverse, it basically means, of course, the opposite, that, you know... Uh, when it comes to decisions, you're not comfortable with making them. You're not comfortable with the decision that you've made. Um, you rely too much on your logic and not enough on your emotions. Uh, let's see. It also could mean that your relationships need to change. You have an uncomfortable relationship, whether it be a love relationship, whether it be a friendship, uh, that needs to really change and needs to grow. Now, let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's say you come, you come to me or you go to another reader. Uh, if you want to go to me, you can go to my website, which is psychicleo.com. That's psychicleo, L-E-O, dot com. Um, and let's say you get this card and it's in reverse. And it's in regards to, say, your health, Right? So it basically it basically could mean that you know in regards to your health, you really need to change. You really need to make some changes with your your lifestyle, with not only with what you eat, but the way you look at you food, or the way um, you exercise, or the way you just look at the idea of getting healthy. You know, now when it comes to uh, say your mental health, it could mean that you know mentally. You're not comfortable with the thoughts that are in your head. You're not comfortable with changing your attitude. Like say you have a really pessimistic or negative attitude and you don't want to change it. You don't want to go to therapy. You don't want to do the work, as the owner would say. And you're just not happy. And that's what this card will basically represent. It will represent that, that really you are the prisoner of your own thoughts. Because you have to remember we're dealing with arrows. And arrows deal with intellect. It deals with the mind. It deals with the central nervous system. It deals with, you know, the things that we say, communication, things of that nature. So, you know, those are basically some some, some meanings that, that this card, the two of arrows, could mean either in the upright or the reverse position. Okay. Now, we're going to move on into the three. Three of arrows. Now, for me, I call this card the heartbreak card. Or or not necessarily heartbreak, but like you haven't healed your old loved ones. Because even if you look at the imagery, that's kind of what it reminds you of. Like a person who really hasn't healed, they're still dwelling on the past. And saying, let's just say you, you know, you uh you get this card in a in a love reading. So say you come to me in a love for a love reading and you want to know, you know, when am I gonna meet that special someone? When is my love life gonna get better or you're dating and you're dating just duds like you're dating men that are just men or women that are just crappy so this basically means that there's an end of a love affair 
there's a disappointment in matters of the heart. So you really are disappointed when it comes to love relationships. You're not happy because you're meeting the same type of person. Or, you know, every time you think you're going to meet somebody new, it never goes through. It always falls, you know, falls flat. Now, um, it also can mean that you have a lot of healing to do within yourself. Because oftentimes, especially when it comes to love relationship questions, and I get these quite a bit in my work, oftentimes, it's not the man or the woman that's a problem. It's yourself. And it's just that the man or the woman, the person that you're dating or seeing, they're just reflecting what you really are trying to, to um, run away from or hide from or, or something that you're not dealing with. So say, you know, you attract emotionally unavailable people. Well, where are you not emotionally available to yourself? Like, what's going on with you? So you always have to look within yourself. But... <clears throat> It also could mean that you're being very, you're being oversensitive about things. So say when it comes to love relationships, say a guy is a texter. He's a big texter. And, you know, you're upset that he doesn't text you back in a timely fashion. You're being overly sensitive over over nothing. Um, it also could mean that, you know, it, it could mean sorrow as well. But sorrow that can either be, it could, it could either enlighten you or it can debilitate you. It just depends on what choice you choose to make in, in regards to that. Um, now, this also comes up a lot when it comes to people who have lost loved ones through through death. So it can mean that you right now, if you get this car in the upright position, if you get it in the upright position, it can mean that you're grieving. You know, you're grieving and through your grief, you're gonna get understanding. You're gonna, you know, things are gonna transform. You'll understand your husband or your wife's death. And you'll understand that, you know what, life doesn't stop because they're gone. You know, if anything, life is a new beginning for me. And even for them because they're now, you know, they now have a transition in terms of uh, death. And I actually see this card a lot when it comes to people who have lost loved ones. Now, it could mean, now, if you get this card, those are just some of the, the upright um, means. If you get this card in reverse, it can mean, of course, the exact opposite. It can mean that you're overindulging in your grief. Like, say say you've lost someone close to you. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. And you're dwelling on it. You Like, every five minutes, you can't help but break down and cry because you are still holding on to the past. And oftentimes, you're indulging in it because it's just there, just for drama's sake. So it also could mean that, say, you have a friend, you know, male or female, and this friend is always in some bullshit. They're always in drama. And you're like, really, girl? Like, what's really going down? And that's what this card could also represent, that you have that one friend who's always indulging in drama, which does not allow them to properly do the work to heal themselves the way they could and should. Um, <clears throat> now, it could also mean that, you know, slowly, you know, the drama in your life, whether it be your work life, whether it be your love life, uh, whether it be your home life, it's slowly starting to get better. You know, you may not see it right away, but it's getting better. Things are getting easier to handle. You know, your marriage is getting better. Um, you know, your health is getting better. You're slowly losing weight. You know, you're not being so neurotic about it anymore. It could mean that mentally, you know, you're having a more a positive attitude. You're on the right medication. You know, you now know how to treat your depression or your anxiety, things like that. Um, and this also can mean that you are identifying with your emotion rather than the actual loss of, say, your friend, your job, um, a health condition. You know, you're not really looking at the loss that you've gone through. You're looking at more so how you feel. You know, and you're like, I'm so, I'm just pissed off. I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm all these different emotions, but you're not looking at, you know, what you've gone through. So these are just some of the, some of the basic meanings of the two and three of arrows here and you know i am not an expert i, I really am not but i actually want to know uh for you if you've ever got this card in a reading what did it mean to you because oftentimes these cards have different meanings for different people because why we're all different none of us are are, are the same so if you got the two and three of swords or sorry two and three of arrows also known as swords in a reading, what did it mean for you? Like, what 
what did it mean for you in terms of, and excuse my nails, what did it mean for you uh, in the reading? You know, what, what did it signify? Leave it in your comments below. Be sure to like the video, share the video. Uh, if you have questions, if you want to know more about this, you want more information, leave your comments below. I will definitely try to read every comment. I try to answer every question. Like I said, I am not an expert. I'm still a student like everybody else on this beautiful thing we call planet, planet Earth. Um, but I will be sure to answer your questions if you, uh, if, you know, if you have questions. If you would like to get a reading or you want life coaching or uh, motivational speaking, Contact me at psychicleo.com. That's psychicleo. That's P S Y C H I C Leo L E O dot com. Uh, and I'll be sure to uh, contact you know connect with you and give you your reading, your life coaching, or your your speaking, whatever it is that you would like. So until next time, it is me, the fabulous Leo Brown, and I will will be back next week with the four and five of arrows, also known as swords, depending on what deck you may use. But I thank you guys so much for watching the video, uh, for um, being a part of my tribe, my channel, being my cover, you know, so for subscribing. Please keep subscribing. Please keep leaving your comments because, like I said, I do read them all. And as you can see, my, video, my videos are very much, my channel, honestly, is very much a wide variety of things. So... But to me, that's the way life should be. So until next time, it has been me, the Fabulous Leo Brown. And I will see you guys next week on this edition, on another edition of Tarot Card Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.